Y'all, this is Natasha. So I am on the final stage of my hair treatment day, which is my actual hairstyle. In the last video, I just showed you all how to use the um, um, Neem and Tea Tree Herbal Cleansing Shampoo Bar. And then, you know, I went and took care of that, shampooed that. Then I did the Greek Yogurt Deep Conditioner. And I just finished that. And as you know, when I finished all that, I did my apple cider vinaigrettes, as always. And I used the last of my um, Vanilla Delight, Delight um, Daily Leave-In Conditioner. And I finished that up. And with a lot of my products, I'm trying to finish them up so that I can make my own products. You know, so. And so what I'm used today... Usually, you know, I use my Air Uveritic water spritz, but I didn't make any today. I'll be using today for my water-based moisturizer is this um, Shea Moisture Organic Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. And it really does have some good products in it. The first product is Dionized Water, and that's how you know it's water-based. And it's got cocoa coconut oil, shea butter, silk protein, essential oil blends, neem seed oil, algae extract, hassas, I don't know, I ain't gonna mess that one up, sage, leaf, and honeysuckle flower, Japanese honeysuckle flower extract, and vitamin E. So, this is gonna be a good substitute for my, um, Ayurvedic water spritz. Stick with the apricot oil again. I'm going to use it again today. And what I'll be doing differently is I am going to be using the Coils by Nature Herbal Soothing Curl, Curl Defining Peppermint Gel. And I also, they had, they had three of them they had the peppermint, the unscented, and the eucalyptus. I also got the eucalyptus, but I like the one where the peppermint really smells, and so you can see that. So it's um, yeah, it's not real watery, not really super thick either, but I think it's gonna do very well. I've heard good things about this, so that's why I went ahead on and brought two of them when I brought it. So back up here, so. I figured the style that I'm going to wear for, I'm going to do for tomorrow is a mohawk with twist in the middle and then I'm going to twist them out, you know, have like a twist out twist and that's going to be it. So what I'm going to do now is part off a bang sort of and then if you want to um, extra smooth sides you can use your um, dimming brush to smooth down your sides a little bit more. So, I'll take a little of the gel. I'm going to rub it in my hands because I'm going to do it all on the side. See that? And from what I hear, a little goes a long way. I finally gave up gave up on the eco styler gel so i'm proud of myself for that because you know if you know something and you don't do something about it that's kind of silly you know so the way i'm gonna put these combs in you know you take them backside put them in and stuff them down that's how i like to do mine Take it back side, take it back side, upside down, and put it in. And this is so much simpler than um, hair pins. I mean, if that's all you got, do what you got to do. But if you can find a pack of these plain old, they call them side combs, get you a couple packs. Take it upside down, put it in the spot you want it in. And push it down. And they also come smaller size too because 
I don't have enough room left for a large one, so take the small one, put it upside down. Nope. Backwards. Then and then push it down. So you see that's see how easy that was? So I'll do the other side and I'll come back. Alright, so I got both sides mohawked up. And now I am going to actually I'm gonna do the front part first. Because what I want to do with the front part is do actual individual twists. Skeet, skeet. Now I'm putting on the apricot oil. And remember I told you it's a, a very thin oil. On the apricot oil. And then I am going to add. I'm going to add a little bit of the curl defining gel from Coils by Nature. And then I'm just going to twist them. And I'm going to do this for the whole little bang section. And actually for my bang section, I am going to twist them. I'm going to actually twist them and put them in bantu knots. Because I don't know if you ever noticed that. My the front of my hair has a very very loose curl pattern. I had somebody that asked me the other day, um, was I transitioning because my ends were so straight? But it's not that they're so straight; is that the my curl pattern is really loose. See that? See? Zoom. It's really loose. So, and like for me, when I do a twist out. On the second or the third day, I ask pe people ask me, did I blow dry it? And I, I don't blow dry it, it's just loose curl pattern. So I twist it. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten twists. And then I bent to knotting them up. Because I'm the herbal soothing curl defining peppermint gel. And we'll, we'll be able to see the edges, you know because it says apply generously to wet or dry hair to smooth edges twist outs two strand twist or define your natural curl this product will not dry out or cause flaking and um, I don't know if I told you all the ingredients but the ingredients are herbal infused distilled water aloe vera juice shea oil grapeseed oil makeup and macadamia nut oil, carbormer, gorgon, Jamaican black castro, organic marshmallow root, organic slippery elm bark, potassium sorbate, willows bark, lemon and peppermint essential oils, and citric acid. First goes on the water base moisturizer goes on the carrier oil which I have in my handy dandy bowl all right so I'm all done twisting up my hair and putting in the little bantu knots and so I'll show you the back on the very very bottom row I just did loose twist right down here and then there is a row of flat twist another row of flat twist and then one more row of flat twist so I just layered that like that so that I wouldn't have to do actual twist all the way throughout the back and then the have it and in the morning I will take it down and go to church morning so it's now time to take down the twist and the bantu knots and I'm going to use the same apricot oil and apply it to my um, fingertips and hands so that the um, the twist won't be too dry or the bantu knots won't be dry so I rub that in there put that on there and now I'm just going to take them down
All right, so what I can see so far, remember we used the um, Curl Defined and Peppermint Gel. It really has the curls pretty um, defined and they're not hard, not crunchy. They're just very well defined curls. So we'll check out the back and see if that holds true for the back. And plus they're super shiny too. So I believe when I used, I used apricot oil earlier this week without the um, curl defining gel so I'm I be, this leads me to think that the so now I'm under the back and I think having you know if you were to twist all these back here you know how sometimes when you're doing a twist out you leave a twist twisted I think having the flat twist will uh, eliminate that also All right, so there you have it. Highly defined curls. The apricot oil has the nice sheen and shine. Your hair is nice and moisturized. The um, curl defined and smooth the gel really does work well on the edges. They're nice and laid down. And I actually um, only slept on the satin um, pillow last night. I didn't tie it down. I was going to tie it down so you know the edges be nice and laid down. But I said since I'm testing the product I wouldn't do that so it does have great hold curls are nice and defined and that's it I'll give you all a 360 turn so here you have it the um, mohawk with the um, soothing gel the coils by nature coils by nature herbal soothing Curl Defining Peppermint Gel. Um, the curls are nicely defined. It's a great, it's a good product. I would use it. I had already heard some great reviews about it, so I will be using this um, as a part of my regimen. And you know, I don't really use gel too often, so I really like this because um, I, it has a longer shelf life than flaxseed gel. You know. When you make flaxseed gel, it has like a week or two weeks um, shelf life. You have to use it. You have to keep it refrigerated. So for me, it's, by the time I get ready to use it, it'll be done. And then, you know, you can freeze flaxseed gel. But by the time I, you know, if I'm thinking about it, you know, I don't want to go through the whole thawing process. So... I have this gel and I ask it y'all I give you a 360 turn and I'm off the church. Alright, so that's it. Y'all have a good weekend. God bless and bye-bye.